Sit down, you son of a bitch. All rise, Judge Callahan presiding. During this red case, you have been charged with assault. Phil Connor, you may now testify. You see, Judge, that man's wife, why, what's her name? Milda Christina? No, 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 it's not. Oh, yeah, her name's Ona. I'm sorry, Your Honor. They all blend together. Anyways, his wife worked in the department next to me. We ended up laying, laying her off for important to me. I'm working, working the rest of my shift, and a half hour later, he just attacked me, knocked me down, and nearly choked me to death. We have witnesses, Your Honor. That won't be necessary. You admit to attacking the plaintiff? Him? Yes. Yes, sir, I hit him. Say, Your Honor. Your Honor. You tried to choke him? Yes, sir, Your Honor. You ever been arrested? No, sir, Your Honor. What do you have to say with yourself? The gets. He says the plaintiff used his position to make advances. He adds that he threatened his wife with the loss of her position if she didn't comply. Oh, I see. Well, if you made love to your wife, why didn't she complain to the superintendent or leave the workplace? He says they are very poor and she could not afford to lose her place at work. It, work is hard to come by. I see. So you decided to knock him down? Is there any truth to this story, Mr. Connor? Not particularly, Your Honor. It's very unpleasant that they tell, tell you some such tale every time you have have to discharge a woman. Yes, I know. I hear it often enough. This fellow seems to have handled you pretty rough, roughly. 30 days in cost. Next case. 30 days? What will my family do? I have a wife and baby, sir, and they have no money. Oh, God, they will starve. You should have you should have done well to think about them before you committed the assault. <laughs> oh, what will my family do? Without me, they shall surely starve. That little Irishman Con Connor and his friends are surely going to bring ruin to them because of me. And what will happen to Anatus? I do not want my child to suffer through this long winter that we worked so hard to prepare for. Marija or Ta Tara's Elsba. They were doing so well at their jobs, but because of me, they're going to get fired. I don't want any more of the children to have to give up school to go to work. If only I had listened to Ona and not fought him, but I needed to hurt him. He needed to pay for hurt hurting Ona like that. That man deserved to die. I only wish I hadn't, my only wish is that I had killed him. I don't understand how he got away with what he did to my sweet, sweet Ona. I got, I got it. The company must have paid off the courts. That's the only explanation. They are allowed to do as they are pleased while I'm left to rot and my family goes hungry. It's not fair. Forgive me. I shouldn't have gone to fight. I just shouldn't have. Oh, Ona, why didn't you tell me this was happening? I'm your husband. It's my job to protect you. Oh, little Adatus, my baby, what are you going to do growing up without a dad, going hungry? You're too young for this kind of world. Too young. Oh, I wish we had never left Lithuania. Things were so much better there. The work was good and the children grew. They had told us, come to America. Come to the land of riches. But all we found here is hardship. Everything we heard in the homeland was a lie. We have to work in filth. It's not fair. At home, we had miles of open forest. I miss home. Wish we had never left.